Welcome to the interactive floor plan booking with Room Manager 365. This tutorial shows you how you can use a visual interactive floor plan booking using the Room Manager 365 site, which runs on your SharePoint tenant in Microsoft 365. There are three steps which an administrator or facility manager needs to take to make this functionality available to your employees. Step one is to add your desks and rooms to the room manager site. Step two is to add your floor plans to the room manager site. This can be done directly as an office administrator or facility manager or a SharePoint admin. And step three is then let your employees search and book free available desks and rooms using the visual interactive floor plan. Let's see and jump into the presentation how you can add your desks and rooms to the room manager site. You are logged in with your admin account or the office manager account. And there is a link in the quick lounge here, as you see on our room manager site, which says desks and rooms. In this list, you can manage all your desks and rooms directly by adding new, new desks or new rooms. The available fields out of the box can be entered directly in this form and then you can save. So for example, what you see here is we have a desk B01, which is the title. The desk is active means it can be searched and booked. Zero would mean it is inactive. This desk can only be booked by people coming from or working in the IT or development department. This desk is in the location Berlin. And this desk has some keywords which the administrator can manage. For example, for this desk B1 in Berlin, it has a tag or a property like voice conferencing. It has a microphone, can be speakers. The office manager can easily edit these values directly in SharePoint by adding new choice fields or by selecting other pre-built keywords, which enables the end user to narrow down the search results. This you will see in the step three. And you can assign a certain desk type uh, to these desks as well the management of the desk types can be easily colored and can easily be managed in the edit column and then last but not least you can define what kind of resource type it is so it can be a desk or it can be a room this is step one step two is the to add the floor plans to the room manager site so what do we mean by floor plans? Well, any Visio, PowerPoint, or any graphic tool can be used to create, and this is what you do actually, this floor plans. The floor plans can have already a coloring for certain areas. So this will be reflected then in the booking form. And uh, this is actually a pretty simple step uh, to use your existing floor plans. You can have as many floor plans as you want. And once these floor plans as image files are prepared and ready, we can add in step two the floor plans as an admin or facility manager. Let's switch back to our site and let's go to new floor plan. Under new floor plan link, which is only available to the right persons of course, the office manager selects uh, the location the location is where the facility is and say select file choose a file and then choose a file from his local desk where all the floor plans in the previous steps has been prepared and just uploads the floor plan for this corresponding location step two is then for the office administrator to modify this uploaded floor plan. So we will click on modify floor plan. We'll select the location and the previously uploaded floor plan here in this case for the location Berlin can be selected and the manager can say show desks. 
Now you see already that the floor plan is loaded and the administrator has already added some icons for the different desks or even for the rooms. These icons can be dragged and dropped dynamically, instantly, so you can move the desk B03 to just to another spot or you can add now new icons for new desks. So if you want to add a new desk with a title, you can enter a description, say add. It will be automatically added to the floor plan and then you can just move it to the right spot. The same way you would add a meeting room and then place it on the spot. Once this is done for your floor plan, you say update floor plan and it will become instantly available to all the users. Step three is then what the employee sees if they are looking for a free and available desk or room using the visual interactive floor plan. Let's jump back and you see here there is on the booking side there is a desk booking floor plan and this is actually what your users will see. So this will be a available new floor plan and modifier floor plan will not show up for the end user. This can be done through the security settings in SharePoint Online and all the user has to do actually is just to select the location. So let's stay in Berlin because this is a quite huge floor plan. Available floor plans for Berlin are showing up. The user selects Berlin, a floor plan, then selects date and time. You see the time, start time and end time is automatically set to a all day booking and says show available room. Now the floor plan with all the available desks and meeting rooms in green are showing up. The user can directly click on that and book this desk if he wants, but maybe he wants just to filter down the available desks and rooms by using this very powerful keyword filtering. So let's say I would like to come to the office in Berlin for April the 12th. These are the available spaces, but I need maybe a desk or a room which is tagged as a standing desk. So the user can click here on this filter standing desk and you see that only one free available desk B02 matches this criteria. So this filtering option here is very powerful. It can be used by the end users uh, just to book the right resource by using the filters. So let's say I want to book the B03 desk. The user clicks on it, enters the title for the booking, which can be as well automized, meaning that we can automatically fill the event title so the user does not need to enter any title by taking the username and the desk uh, title and can book it from the interactive floor plan. So the user B03 has the user has booked the desk B03 in Berlin for the 12th of April. And this booking of course will be reflected in the desk and rooms reservation list with all the detail. ID 94 as you see is the desk that I have booked in Berlin with all the details which are here collected and consolidated in the list. Next time if a user comes and books as well a desk in Berlin, let's select the 12th maybe, and say show available desk, you see that the desk, the previously booked desk B03 appears and the user who was over the icon, they see who has booked this desk. So I could book a desk close to this person related to the project, related to the teams, whatever. And this will be again updated with the uh, right settings and the right information. To summarize, the desk booking interactive floor plan is a very simple way uh, given to the clients uh, to manage their floor plans as many by location by using the modify floor plan to interactively change any settings without interruption and the user can use the desk uh, booking floor plan the interface by accessing the site in the browser thank you very much